To complete disassembly and reassembly, you'll need two crescent wrenches, a five millimeter socket, a five millimeter Allen wrench, various pliers, and a pick for removing O-rings. Use the cartridge assembly tool to seat cartridge. For this, you're gonna to wanna to tighten the vise slowly to be sure that it's seated properly. Be sure to grease the O-ring, put it back inside the top of the fluid section, and squeeze slowly in the vise. Once you've done that, you can remove the installation tool, and the packing is installed. Use Loctite 577 on piston threads before reassembly. Seat the ball and screw the end of the piston onto the rod. Using the plastic white tool included in the servicing kit, grease the end of the piston and push it through the fluid section. You can then remove the plastic tool that comes with the servicing kit. And fully install the rod into the fluid section. Again, grease the O-rings and threads on the cylinder and then slide down over the piston and hand tighten. Reinsert the ball in plastic white holder. Again, grease the O-ring and threads on the bottom of the cylinder before you install the bottom seat. With the fluid section in a vise, use a crescent wrench to tighten first the pump foot, then turn over the fluid section and tighten onto the top of the fluid section. Now we're going to reassemble the air motor. Insert two springs on the control rod assembly. Slide them into the air motor piston.
and reattach nut. and tighten with a crescent wrench. Take your completed air motor piston and insert and grease O-ring on the top. If you grease it before assembly, it's a little bit easier. Grease the lower portion of the piston and reinsert into the pump. Next, install the air motor cylinder on top of the air motor piston. Grease and install the seal holder. Next, grease the O-rings and install the tie rods. Grease and install O-ring. And then place the outlet flange on top of the tie rods. Reinstall and tighten the four bolts on the bottom of the outlet flange. Tighten the valve with needle nose pliers and a crescent wrench. Remember a four millimeter wrench would work here as well.
grease and install O-ring on the reversing body. Reinsert and tighten screws. The cut on the cover lines up. Light on the cover. Reinstall the exhaust grid. Reinstall the air motor lid. Line up the fluid section and turn clockwise, then tighten four screws. Line up the piston rod with the hole and insert the cotter pin. Close the covers on the pump. And that's it. Assembly and disassembly of the EOS 15C25 from Kremlin Rexon.